Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Today is the night of the 26th of Sha'ban, 1442 years after the Hijrah of the Prophet Sallallahu which coincides with April 8, 2021. And today we are going to talk about, which is the part of our series of the Ramadan school series, we are going to talk about what are the valid excuses to break our fast. In the last class we spoke about we the children, the Muslim children, what exactly would be the age that we should start fasting. And I hope inshallah it is clear by now what age you should start and what age it becomes obligatory for you. So you can distinguish the two things. This class we're going to only talk about the valid excuses of breaking the fast. The only two valid excuses for which we can break the fast is mm. sickness and traveling. So when somebody is sick, whether this sick is sickness is for some time or for a long time, doesn't matter. Whether this sickness is mild or severe, it doesn't matter. The sick person has the always the option to break his or her fast. If the sickness is very severe, in the sense that if the person fasts, it's going to be difficult, difficult for him to get cured or his illness will be prolonged or he will get more sick or he might get sick in this scenario he must not fast and he has to make it up later on but if in case the sickness is not my it is not severe it's mild and the person can easily fast can easily fast does he still have the option to break his fast the answer is yes he still has the option to break his fast he or she and then can make it up later on this is the sickness as for the traveling then when you travel from your hometown to a place that is far away from the hometown, that's not part of your hometown. Let's say we are live in Austin here and we want to go to Houston. In this scenario, our traveling to Austin to Houston will be Islamic travel. And once you are in the travel on the day that you want to travel, you can, you have, you, you, you have the option to fast if you want to. And also you have the option to not fast if you want to. If a traveler, it is very difficult for him to continue fasting and it will be difficult for the travel, in this case, he must break the fast and he must make it up later on. And in case it is easy, it's his choice. If he fasts, this is wonderful. If he doesn't fast, that's also wonderful. But if he doesn't fast, then he has to make up the fasting later on. Then there are other reasons for the girls, for the mature girls to break the fast, but I'm not going to discuss that in this class. I'm just going to stick to only these two reasons inshallah as for the girls uh, you should learn those reasons for which actually you cannot fast that you can learn from your parents inshallah what are the scenarios in which case you are not allowed to fast in those cases when you do not fast still you have to count those days that you miss and you have to make them up for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now in the beginning time when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the obligation of Ramadan, there was some flexibility. If you remember when we talked about the history of Ramadan, there was some flexibility. What was the flexibility? If somebody had the ability to fast and he didn't want to fast, for whatever reason, he or she could take off. So if you lived in that time, and let's say you had a school, and you said, oh, I will go to school today, I want to fast. Can I take off? Yes, you can take off. And what you have to do is you have to just feed a poor person for the days you miss. But this was a ruling that was for some time in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. Then after that, Allah cancelled this ruling. No longer Allah gave this flexibility. And Allah only, Allah, Allah obligated all the able-bodied person who can fast, that they should fast and they must fast. And they could not break their fast except in the case of traveling. Or sickness. Let me read to you the three verses of Surah Al-Baqarah that you should memorize and understand really, really well, so that you can understand the religion based upon the revelation, not based upon who says what. Because sometimes a lot of children they hear a lot of things and they get confused. You don't need to be confused. Our religion is not a religion of confusion. Our religion is a religion of revelation, clarification. Okay, and it removes doubts. So whenever we have doubt, we ask the people of knowledge so we can remove the doubt with the knowledge. So Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 183, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, O you who believe, kutiba alaykumus siyam, 
Fasting has been ordained for you. Fasting has been made obligatory for you. كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Like the way it was ordained for the people who came before you so that you can attain taqwa. Now pay attention to this old ruling now. I'm going to talk about the old ruling. So don't get confused. Allah Ta'ala says, أَيَّامًا معدودات. A fixed number of days that you fast. فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ If some of you are sick or are traveling and you cannot fast or you want to break your fast, فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ Then make up those days later on. So this is one set of rule at that time. Then Allah Ta'ala says, وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُطِيقُونَهُ As for those who have the ability to fast, فِدِيَةٌ طُعَامُ مِسْكِينَ They can get away by not fasting, but they have to feed a poor person for the days they want to take off. This is the old ruling we are talking about in verse number 184. This verse we still recite, but the ruling has been cancelled. Allah cancelled it. So this ruling we cannot apply anymore. So remember in the last class, we spoke about some children who they ask, I have exam, I have a school, I have PT. Can I take off from fasting and make it up later on? No, you cannot. But if in this old ruling, you could. If you are living in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. But you don't live in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. You are living now. Later, after this rule has been cancelled. Well, how do we know? The next verse cancelled it. Allah Ta'ala says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ The month of Ramadan in which the Qur'an was revealed, هُدًا لِلنَّاسِ Guidance for the mankind, وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ And the clear proofs for the guidance and the criterion. Criterion to choose the right from wrong. Then Allah Ta'ala says, فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَسُمْ Anybody who witnesses this month, he must fast. This is the part which abrogated the verse before. وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُطِيقُونَهُ فِدْيَةُ طَعَمْ In the verse before Allah said, if you have the ability to fast, you do not want to fast. I'm giving you an option to break your fast, not to fast, but you have to feed a poor person. But then the next verse was revealed after some time and Allah said that option is no longer valid for you. If you witness this month and you are able-bodied, you are not a sick person, you are not traveling, you do not have any choice to break your fast. You must fast. Okay? Then Allah Ta'ala repeats the old ruling, which is still valid. Allah says, وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ But as for those people who are sick and they are traveling, then if they want to break the fast or if they have to break the fast, then they must make up those days, an equal number of amounts of days that they missed from other days from the month of Ramadan after the month of Ramadan finishes. This is the gist of the discussion in the Surah Al-Baqarah. These verses from where we understand there is no excuse valid for a person to break their fast except if they are sick or traveling. So inshallah once you understand this, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, you would know exactly when to break your fast. You are in the school, you are feeling sick, you have the now the option to break your fast. Not because, not that, the reason is not because you have a school, but the reason is because you are sick. I hope inshallah it's clear and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us understand the rulings of Ramadan. Allah is the one who revealed the laws of Ramadan. Allah is the one who obligated when to fast. And Allah is the one who decides when we have the valid excuses to break the fast or not. We cannot and we should not make up our own list of excuses and just break it whenever we want. Some kids, they are grown up, 13, 14, 15, and they are not fasting for days. What is their excuse? Oh, I have a school. Oh, I heard that unless I'm 15 years old, I don't have to fast. All of this is not valid excuses. These are just people say without knowledge. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to teach us the religion so we can practice the religion based upon the teaching of the Quran and the authentic tradition or the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa